The Lady Maxters all fired up for this one as Mac fights for an undefeated season. But Castlemont wouldn't lay down. This had all the makings of a blowout, but they hung tough early. Ea Akusi on third down. His pass is tipped, but it lands right in the hands of Andrew Smith in stride, and he takes off for the end zone. He's run down inside the five-yard line. Castlemont in business. But the McClyman's goal line defense was stiffened. Okusi throwing for the end zone. Marcus Peters, he'll be playing Division I football next year. Nice pass break up there. And then on fourth and goal, Castleman decides to go for it, but it's a Mac sack by Marlo Hendrick. So the Knights turn the ball over to Mac on downs. It was sort of a slow, sleepy game until midway through the second quarter when Castlemont punts the ball to Marcus Peters, and he's gonna wake the stadium up with an electrifying 60-yard punt return touchdown. It's his fifth punt return touchdown of the year. The extra point is good, also kicked by Marcus Peters. It makes a seven nothing Mac. Later in the second, Mac driving again inside the red zone. Peters turns and hands to Ernest Marshall. He busts over the left side. It's a 19 yarder down to the one yard line. Mac knocking on the door. Next play, Peters, quarterback sneak for his second touchdown of the first half. The extra point, no good this time, but the Mac Warriors have a 13-0 lead. With just 13 seconds left in the half, the Castlemont Knights driving, but Ea Akusi is picked by John Lewis. He looks to be hemmed in on the sideline, but a great cutback. He runs it all the way into the end zone. Two-point conversion, no good. McClymans gets another big win over one of their city rivals to improve to 9-0. They continue to chase that elusive, undefeated season next week.